So this is Ubuntu Studio and this is the latest version 24.04 and there's a lot of information in the Ubuntu Studio website. I'll click on the release notes here. So I'm going to be installing Ubuntu Studio in a virtual machine. So these are some of the packages that will be installed in Studio. These are the known problems. So I'm going to click on download. So you can download the ISO file from here, from any one of these. So this is the welcome page. I'm going to choose English. This is the keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as English. So connect to internet. I'm going to leave it use wired connection. So I'll leave the first option selected, install Ubuntu Studio. And how would you like to install Ubuntu Studio? I'm going to leave it as the first option, interactive installation. So this is installed recommended proprietary software. I'm going to check this box, install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. I'm also going to check this box, download and install support for additional media formats. And here, this is the disk setup. How do you want to install Ubuntu Studio? So I'm going to select the first option, erase this and install Ubuntu Studio. I'm going to create an account. And I'm going to leave this check, require my password to log in. This is the time zone selection. I'm going to leave it as is, New York. So this is a summary of the choices and you can always go back and change any one of these. I'll click install so it's installing. So this is the logon screen and here I have two options here. There's a Plasma X11 and a WLAN. I can choose any one of these. I'm going to leave it as X11. So on the top bar on the left side this is the application menu. This is audio productions. And these are lists of all the audio applications. This is graphic design. So there's dark table, Digicam, this is Blender. This is for video production. And these are all free to use. There's also OBS Studio. This is development. This is internet. This is media playback. So there's Office and LibreOffice is here. Science and Math. This is Settings. This is System. This is Utilities. This is Ubuntu Studio Information. So on the top right side, this is the clock with the date. This is Status and Notifications. And this is the audio settings. So there are some apps on the top bar. There's Firefox. This is Pat Chance. This is Adore. This is OBS Studio. So this is Krita. Digital Painting app. This is GIMP Image Editor. So this is KDN Live, it's a video editor.
it says Digicam. So this is the arc table. So this is system settings. So this is appearance. This is workspace behavior. This is the desktop effects. This is virtual desktop and you can add more virtual desktops here. This is windows management. This is start up and shut down. So this is a login screen and you can choose any one of these. Here you can configure your notifications. This is users and you can add new users. This is regional settings, accessibility. This is applications. This is backups. This is KDE wallet. It's on the network, this is connections. This is settings, this is network settings where you can configure a proxy. This is connection preferences, SSL preferences. So this is the firewall settings. And there's a hardware category here. There's input devices, display and monitor, audio, multimedia. This is power management. You can also add printers here. And this is the removable storage. I'll click about this system. So the KDE Plasma version is 5.27. So I'll right click the desktop and I'll select configure desktop and wallpaper. I'll choose this wallpaper. So I'm gonna click on the applications menu. I'm gonna open the discover app. So here you can download more applications and they are all listed by categories. And you can also search for apps here and you can download. So in this video, I installed Ubuntu Studio 24.04 in a virtual machine. So if you need further information, you can always go to Ubuntu Studios website. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.